Hi guys, XP Island 8 here. I'm gonna show you how I made this 3D cauldron in 3ds Max. First of all, I want to say that uh, this is based on the 2D drawing from Dmitry Chulevko. I hope I pronounce it well. I will put a link in the description down below if you want to see his art. So I put it in 3ds Max. And I oriented my camera in order to have the right uh, perspective. It's important if you want to get close to the original concept. So as you can see, I'm using very simple primitives, a cylinder, and I try to stay uh, low polygon as possible. Here I'm implemented more polygons in order to have something smooth and I make sure that uh, it's evenly spaced. I just add a shell in order to have a, a thickness and actually it's a pretty simple uh, topology here. Be sure to, to bevel in order to have nice transition between the top part and the and the side part. So here I'm working on the, the rocks under the, the cauldron. Still uh, simple primitives. Just uh, in order to to get it right, to get uh, the right position. What's important to have in mind is that in uh, 3D, you will have your own perspective. It means that uh, a 2D drawing will never be as precise in terms of perspective as uh, a 3D software. So you will have to adapt what you're making in order to, to stay uh, relevant. I'm working here on my blockout. It means that I will use simple topology, topology, very basic shapes like square or cylinders or even uh, spheres in order to place things at the right place. So here I'm using the, the same topology in order to be faster. It's actually not very important to make things each time from the beginning I mean having a really great topology uh, it's important but you can still have it by changing what you already have it's a, an efficient way to work mainly because it takes time and things are not uh, going to look better just because just because you did it all over again i'm still placing some rocks at the right place and putting some music in order to be motivated some people don't like to to have music while they work it's really nice to listen to music and also it serves a purpose here because it helps me to stay loose. I mean by that, when you're making your topology and more precisely your block out here, it's really important to stay loose. For example, I'm gonna make a mistake here. And because I'm loose in my mind, I will quickly react and change my way I approach things. As you can see, I completely delete the original topology I made and now I'm focusing on basic shapes because it was the wrong approach and this one is better. Thanks to a modifier in 3ds Max, I can use Spherify. How it works, it's really simple. You only have to 
select your polygons, put the modifier verify in the stack, and it will round up your uh, your polygons. So here I'm putting a bevel. It's always important to to bevel your uh, your topology because like that it will catch light better and also because uh, uh, there is a strong bevel on the original drain After I am done with my block out, I'm starting to implement details. It's not important if you use different objects, because in ZBrush you will be merging them and uh, adding a lot of details. The only downside of this technique is that at the end I will have to make a retopology. So uh, it means drawing back back low polygons uh, shapes on the actual high polygon but you will see that in a, in the next video so here i'm trying to create the basic shape for the mushroom It's actually uh, a very very rough modelization. It's really not, not important because uh, in the next video I will show you how I transformed it in the brush in order to uh, to be more uh, realistic and uh, and, a, and a good mushroom. Making this video actually shows me some way I can improve. And uh, here I can see that I'm, I'm putting too much effort and time in the low topology of the mushroom and it's actually with too much deta details. Uh, like I said, uh, in the brush I will be transforming all that and so these steps are a little bit uh, wasting my time. As you can see here, I can uh, mod uh, modelize in one viewport and still be able just underneath to see uh, the overall posi position of the mushroom to keep it close to the concept. I will try to do the quark here. So, like I said, reuse your topology. I just reuse the inner part of the bottle in order to uh, to be sure that it will uh, go in the right place. Here I'm making a, a mistake. Like I said, it's, it's better to, to be uh, really simple in the beginning, so uh, I try to have a, a spline in order to, to create the rope, but unfortunately the result wasn't, uh, wasn't great. So I try a different approach here, and uh, finally I will choose completely a different way of working. And I will simply draw a line on uh, the surface of the bottle. It's a better way to approach it like that because the rope will already be in place and I will just have to make some minor adjustments. Here I'm simplifying the line in order to have something smooth. So I use the normalized spline and so I have less points. I keep uh, delete 
some point, making adjustments became way simpler. Now you will see me use the same techniques as earlier. I'm gonna reuse my topology in order to have things in the right place. That will allow me to be sure that the label will be at the exact same position. Always the same thing. Start with a, a simple topology and add some polygons. Be sure to cap everything. I like to to have all my topology in grey. I think it's uh, easier on the eye. Here I'm I'm making some adjustments that are really not uh, not necessary on the mushroom because, like I said, I'm going to launch it in ZBrush and uh, completely change the mushroom so I remember it next time I'm working here on the green potion the green uh, water maybe it's a cauldron from a witch I don't know but there are highs in it so it's probably uh, really really bad to drink it I try different techniques I think I over complexified it and in the end I just uh, make made a plain spherical one and I applied a noise modifier in order to to get the ripple of the boiling water. Now I'm placing all the, the bubbles and the eye. It's actually very difficult to position them because like I said the perspective of the 2D drawing is not perfect so I will have to adjust but I'm keeping in mind that I still want to keep the same um, pers perspective and camera angle if you prefer uh, for the for the last render now I'm making the bones so it's actually a very bad <laughs> topology but it's okay because I'm gonna export it in the brush but it will be in the next video I hope you guys like this one it's already the end of the video so please subscribe and put a thumb up I hope my French accent wasn't too confusing I will gladly see you in the next video